Hey, hey everybody, this is Chris with WooCurve, and I'm shooting this video to show you how you can set up a subscription product inside of WooCommerce and then use one-click upsells to sell that subscription product. So, uh, and this is exactly what we do uh, in our funnels. And the first step that, that we need to cover is just how to set up a subscription product that you can then offer. And to do that, you're gonna need to use a, uh, a, another plugin and the one that we use is just called WooCommerce subscriptions um, and once you add it, it you'll see this option here but really where it comes into play is uh, as you can see right here I've just got a test subscription product that I'm setting up and when I come down into this section I'll have a new option called simple subscription and here is where I can set my uh, my recurring uh, amount for each month or year so basically I could say all right if um, if I'm going to sell you know a, a $39 subscription every month I would put that in and it looks like and you know I could do it every other month uh, I could do it um, every week day year so you, you have any any option here that you want you can also set it to expire uh, after a certain period of time or to just go on forever until it's canceled. The other cool thing that you can do is you you can include a sign up fee uh, if you if you wanted to do that. The other thing um, is and so the sign up fee would be for example if you wanted to do a paid trial and this can be a, a good way one to get uh, someone into your universe that has given you money even if it's just a dollar um, you can do a dollar trial with your subscription for, um, you know, for 14 days or something like that, or um, or, or you can do a, a free trial, and and so let me just see here. Um, yeah, so we're just going to keep this simple: no trials, no uh, no paid trials. It's just um, you know, 39 bucks a month, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this. All right, and that's done. Then what we want to do with one-click upsells is we come over here, and I'm going to just create a new one. How about? And we'll just call this subscription funnel. And I think I've got a... So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a, a product there as my target. So th this is not a subscription product here. This would this would be um, you know if we were to put it in into real world example. Um, actually, maybe why don't I go back and do the multivitamin? So somebody's buying a bottle of multivitamins from my my made up store here. All right, and now I'm gonna add my first upsell. And for this, I'm going to add that, uh, let's see, test subscription product. Okay. And I'm just going to offer it at full price. And I could send it to a custom page or default page. And we've covered that in other videos. And this, I'm just going to offer this one upsell. Now, one cool thing here, let's, uh, let's stick with this example because uh, I don't want it to get too confusing. But let's say that what this subscription product is here is a monthly subscription of a bottle of vitamins, right? Um, now, I, I know that the price that I set, it would be pretty high, but uh, there's one feature I want to show you here um, that, that is kind of cool. So um, let's say somebody buys a bottle of vitamins for, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks or something, right? And then you're going to give them a, uh, a subscription and maybe it's a ten dollar a month subscription and uh, as, as a bonus you're gonna give them two bottles for their first month and and so what you could do is you could use this option here cancel target order and what this does is when somebody takes your subscription uh, if, if you were or your upsell you can use this on any up, any upsell really but if you want to cancel out the order, the, the initial order that they just made because they're going to get a better deal in your upsell and um, then, then you would you would check cancel target order and this 
this offer, this this payment would be voided out, and they would then take up uh, take you up on this offer. I think that works really well on a subscription basis because um, obviously, uh, if you can get somebody in on a subscription, uh, then over the long period they're gonna they they have the potential to be worth more to you. So uh, if you're selling a uh, a supplement or a vitamin product and you want to incentivize somebody to uh, get on a recurring payment plan for that, um, you could give them, uh, for the same price, two bottles when they sign up for the Vitamin of the Month Club, and then uh, essentially you cancel that first order, and it, it starts here. So I hope that makes sense, and I can do another more in-depth video on cancel target order, um, but uh, but wanted to, to point that out. So essentially what we have now is one uh, one product that, that folks, that customers buy, and then you're offering a subscription product that we set up through the WooCommerce subscription plugin. And, and that's really it. So, I mean, everything from here would be, you know, you get in your, uh, your short codes. Let me just go ahead and save that. You get in your short codes, setting up your, uh, you know, here we're using the default page, or you could set up your custom page with how you're going to sell that. And then once they take your upsell, then they are then... Uh, uh, build every month for whatever your subscription is and if you use a trial obviously um, let's say you do a 30-day trial or a seven-day trial um, and it's a dollar or five dollars I don't know but they're just going to be charged uh, the amount of the trial and then after you know seven days whatever your trial period is they are going to be uh, upgraded into the full subscription and you just want to make sure that you make that really clear uh, in, in, in your sales copy so um, on your upsell page, let them know that it's it's a it's a free or not a free trial, but it's a paid trial for seven days. After seven days, if they want to keep it, then do nothing, and they'll be billed the uh, you know the full amount for the monthly subscription, or they can contact you at you know support at whatever your company is uh, to cancel, and and so that's that's really it. This this is how you know with one click upsells. Uh, you can start testing different offers like that just by kind of dropping them into your uh, your already existing funnels. Uh, you don't even have to do uh, a, a big promotion just to test, which I think is one of the the cool ways to use one click upsells. Um, you know, take take one of your most popular products and um, you know add add as your upsell a uh, you come up with a way to do a subscription. Product. It could be a monthly print newsletter. It could be, um, you know, in our vitamin example, getting a, a, a box or a box, a, a bottle of vitamins every month. Um, it, it's a, it, it's an awesome way to, uh, to add recurring revenue, obviously, and uh, build uh, better, more engaged customers. So, um, hope this was helpful, and um, hopefully, hopefully, it gives you some ideas on on how you can kind of play around and, and test different offers with your audience. So uh, that's all I have for today. And as always, shoot us a note if you have any questions. Uh, you can contact me, Chris, at woocurve.com. And we'll talk soon. Thanks.